Hi guys. It is just a cloudy, foggy, gray, depressing, yuck day <clears throat> here in the end times in Paradise in Garfield, Texas. Here on this gloomy Tuesday morning, December 18th, 2018. But uh, for once, I am not whining because, guys, I want you to look at this. I can swing my shoulder around. I can put my arm up over my head. I can actually make a strong fist for the first time in how many years. Unbelievable. Uh, what I have been putting up with for years that <clears throat> has been not 100% cured, but 90% cured. I uh, don't know how many of you watched my uh, The Answer is Right in Front of You, a really gross story. Uh, even as I, that I put out yesterday, uh, talking about this thing on my back, which uh, this, this infection, this boil, or what I, what I thought for years has been a carbuncle. Obviously, I misunderstood what the hell a carbuncle was. And what I have had on my upper back, right here in my shoulder, for years is this cyst. This little cyst about, I, I don't know, uh, maybe the size of an almond. Uh, I can't even remember how many years that, that I've been putting up with this shit, guys. So what has been going on for years? And the answer, as my fortune cookie told me, and even while I was telling the story about the answer is right in front of you, you clueless fucking moron, I still did not get it that... What I have mistakenly been calling a carbuncle is a cyst that formed here on my upper back, right on top of my shoulder, apparently right on this nerve. I've googled the name of this nerve that goes all the way down my right arm and shoots out these two fingers. Well, what has been going on for good God, at least three years, and I think it's been five years, is that this cyst has been pressing on this nerve uh, that, that shoots all the way down my arm. And I don't know what happened. Something happened this year at the Optimus Club Christmas tree lot, I'm thinking, or something somehow... Uh, over the past few weeks, this, this little cyst got infected and turned into this, this nasty boil which erupted yesterday and this nasty yuck. I don't have to repeat all that. And so anyway, essentially the cyst drained. Uh, after all these years, and, it, and it's not gone, it's dropped from about the size of an almond maybe to the size of a watermelon seed right now. Uh, and, and it's unbelievable how I have gotten my life back. I, I, you know, it, it took about an hour of researching on, on Google last night uh, to, to figure out the no shit Sherlock Sorry, but I don't go to doctors. I, I avoid doctors like the plague. But I have been to at least one chiropractor uh, in Austin and two or three, you know, more like on a social setting, the, you know, people who call themselves massage therapists uh, working on, on my shoulder and this nerve thing, you know, that, that I... And it never, it's just something never felt right uh, about this being a problem uh, with my muscle or whatever. And so, 
how I would identify, you know, the, the chiropractor and these massage therapists or whatever, whenever they asked uh, where the problem was, I said, well, it's very easy to find. Just look for the, that carbuncle on my back. And that's where the pain is. So for years, so I, I, I've had a, a chiropractor, massage therapist, uh, and for years uh, I have been explaining where the pain was. Uh, this the, this nerve pain what was originating strangely enough strangely enough this nerve pain was uh, originating from where this carbuncle is and I said just go just go up there and and press on that carbuncle and and you will be pressing on uh you know on the very spot that's the problem. You know, talk about the goddamn answer is right in front of your face. Uh, and so, then, yeah, so they would press on the carbuncle, meaning the cyst. They would press on it, and when you press on the cyst, wow, uh, the, 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 this pain goes shooting all through my shoulder, down my arm, and, and out my fingers. Maybe somewhere along the line, I would say, well, Hambone, if you press, the harder you press on your carbuncle, the more pressure you put on this nerve, the more it hurts. Maybe the source of this constant pain and nerve damage that you have been dealing with could have something to do <coughs> with the carbuncle, uh, otherwise known as a cyst, that maybe that is the cause of the problem. Maybe it is the fucking cyst pressing on the nerve that's causing your problems. Maybe the fucking answer is right in front of your eyes. Unfucking believable but uh i so i don't know what's going on now guys i uh i i don't know if this cyst is 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 just going to disappear entirely uh now that it has gotten infected and exploded or if i'm gonna have to get it cut out but this just uh it, this just opens up I, I, I could launch off using this as one example uh, of clueless morons, just as my uh, fortune cookie was telling me yesterday. If you just look, the answer is right in front of your eyes. But most people, obviously me included, they just don't look or at the evidence right in front of their goddamn eyes, whether whether it is a cyst pressing a nerve on uh, you know on your shoulder, uh, like sending a little message, maybe we need to uh, attend to this little problem. Uh, it's just unbelievable uh, how much of our lives uh, we spend ignoring the signals, ignoring the messages, whether it's from the universe, whether it's from the planet, uh, whether it's from our fellow earthlings, or whether it's from our own body. And uh, how simple some of these solutions are. It's just unbelievable. I, I mean, I feel like I have been set free. I wish I had the handbook of the new paradigm. I would read uh, their own quote about a, a boil uh, that needs to be lanced. They, they do, the, in the handbook of the new paradigm, they, they brush up against this very analogy, this, this, this very metaphor uh, that to, to bring attention 
to something that should be right in front of your eyes, sometimes you just need to lance the boil uh, to, to get it. But, uh, you know, on a, on a more surface level, it, it, guys, just by any chance, anybody listening to this who has some weird, unexplained nerve issue going on in their body, uh, and, and if you read up on these cysts, and, and you don't always feel the cyst. You can't always feel it. Sometimes, you know, the doctor has to find it. But if you, there, there's all of these different places that these cysts can form. And I have one of these here on my wrist uh, that I, that uh, can also be involved. A very common place uh, for nerve damage in an arm is when you have these goddamn things forming on a nerve here. So who knows that this cyst might also be involved in this. So I'm going to get this fucker taken off uh, as soon as I can figure out how to uh, find a doctor to pay for it. But but if you're ha <coughs> if you are having some sort of weird nerve damage, uh, whether it be your arm, your hand going out, your fingers in your shoulder, th this could be a very easy thing to deal with. It could be a, a, a cyst, but uh, the bigger picture uh, is how many other things, I'm wondering, how many other things are right in front of my eyes? How many answers to, to problems in my life are right in front of my eyes that I just cannot see? that I'm completely unaware uh, uh, of the answer to a problem in my life uh, when it's right in front of my eyes. Uh, but anyway, at least I've figured out this problem. I just need to figure out how to get the, uh, the rest of this damn thing off. I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm leaning towards a, a medical tourism jaunt somewhere down to Latin America, I don't know, Mexico or Costa Rica or wherever. You know, a lot of people in my position who have no uh, medical insurance, it's cheaper just to buy the fucking plane ticket to Costa Rica and go down there. And, and as long as they're not emergency things, you know, I could knock out... Uh, knock out my rotten teeth. You know, I could go down there to Costa Rica and probably for $200 get both of these cysts removed. I might as well get this damn hernia surgery that is, uh, that I've been needing for two years before I have another hernia. Unbelievable uh, that I didn't have a hernia at the damn Christmas tree lot. And of course my rotten teeth but I just got an email uh, from a friend who works at a dentist office telling me she, there, the dentist has a cancellation. And if I want to uh, get up there this afternoon, but <clears throat> I have no idea what this is going to cost. There, there's a bunch of shit going on, but this is the cracked filling in number 29 that is getting ready to uh, cause some serious problems if I don't get this filling replaced before I lose another tooth uh, like I have on this side of it. It's the one right across from this one that exploded a couple of weeks ago. Now this one's getting ready to go. But anyway, I do want to send out a huge thank you to uh, all of my concerned tribes members who have been who have been donating to the Hambone Rotten Teeth Fund, even though I don't have one set up in GoFundMe yet, and we'll call it the Hambone Rotten Cyst. So anyway, maybe we're gonna call it Hambone's Medical Tourism uh, Vacation, Medical Vacation. Maybe. Uh, 
I'll make that my next GoFundMe for a round trip plane ticket to Costa Rica uh, so I can go get some goddamn affordable medical care. Uh, since I can't get it in my own damn country, that's for sure. But anyway, before I head to the dentist, I'm just going to come back with a very short and sweet We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day and then uh, see about getting these rotten teeth uh, taken care of before they explode. <laughs> Go look for those answers right in front of your eyes while you still can. What answer are you looking for right in front of your eyes, Sancho Panza? He goes, Papa, I'm looking for a squirrely right in front of my eyes. I don't see a squirrely in front of your eyes today, though. Bye, guys.